Before this video starts, if this guide helps you out in any way, shape, or form, like and subscribe. Also, comment down below if you have any questions. Let's begin. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to teach you guys exactly how you could go ahead and edit videos on a Chromebook. So, let's get into it. First, guys, launch your Chromebook, then go to Villo. So, in order to go to Villo, we need to go to Play Store. Okay. Then click on search and type up Villo. Okay. If you guys don't have Villo or you don't know what Villo is, don't worry. You could just download it. It's totally free. And you click open and it has 10 million on here alone. And including like iPhones and stuff. This app has close to 100 million downloads. So it's a lot of people that are using this app that are, you know, creating on this app. And that sort of thing. So now you're going to click new project. Once you have it all downloaded. Okay. So once you click on new project. You want to select the video that you want to go ahead and edit. Let's say I want to edit this Roblox gameplay video. I click on it. And if you guys have multiple videos you want to combine or edit together. Then you click one. Number two. And number three. You could also sort the order as well, like this. So if you want this to come first, this to come second, and you could sort your clips before you even drag it on here by clicking the arrow key and clicking OK. Then you could select your size from YouTube to TikTok, movies, Instagram, Facebook, fill, fit, center, you name it, you could do this. So now that we've went ahead and launched this edit, we're gonna go ahead and begin with the basics of Villo, just to give you guys a basic understanding on how Villo works and everything about Villo. And yeah, let's start with that. So first of all, guys, I wanna go ahead and give you guys a basic on how Villo blocks work. So if we go to graphics, Click on stickers. Okay. Through here, we could go ahead and select a sticker to go ahead and place on our video. So you could click on here, click on this for example, click tick. And then, guys, you want to click done. But if we click done, you could lower the opacity and also change the color of this to red if you want, or pink, purple, it doesn't matter. But we're not going to do that because I don't see a point. You could click on animations and a little effect, so a fading effect for the uh, sticker to come. You could go to here and add a shaking effect. So we could do a, for example, a temple. You could adjust this. So if you want it faster, you just lower the speed at how fast it is. And there you go. If you guys want to go ahead and make the sticker zoom in gradually, you have to click on it. Then click on, or we uh, click on transform. Then guys, go ahead and click over onto keyframe. This is keyframe one. You guys could also click plus and minus to zoom in and zoom out of the dashboard. We're gonna wanna zoom in onto the dashboard. So we're gonna go ahead and click on plus. And then click on plus again. Okay. There we go. One second. And 
now we could go ahead and keyframe this to however we want. So we could do a size keyframe as well. Going from here. And then we could add a keyframe here. And we can make this go up. Now, over time, as you can see, because our keyframe starts from there, it's going to gradually, with the speed of the space, get eventually to the size. So now, if we go ahead and watch this clip back, it appears that a fade is shaking and it's zooming in onto the screen, as you can see. And it's appearing for way too long, obviously. You wouldn't want a like button appearing for that long. That's how you guys do that. You could click on pip and add images and videos over your main video. You could click on here and split. And you could cut parts out. Which is kind of nice. By dragging. Or if you guys want to cut with speed. Then you go ahead and move all the way here split go to this block and click delete but make sure you guys have it split from each other otherwise the computer won't know what you guys are doing and it'll uh, delete the entire video which is what you guys don't want to do and it's lagging right now sadly unfortunately which is not good at but all yeah that was about it for today's video guys overall um <laughs> Is it worth doing this or not? Personally, guys, you know, I don't know if you guys should or should not do it. You know, obviously, it's up to you. My personal recommendations is always making sure to edit on phones, iPads, and stuff like that. But if you guys want to go ahead and edit on a Chromebook or computer, laptop, that's fine as well. I recommend Vilio. And if you guys are on a PC, I would recommend Premiere Pro. Or if you're on a Mac, I would recommend Final Cut Pro. And out of these three, what's the best? It's obviously Velo first, Final Cut second, third, it would be Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro, I wouldn't recommend that all to anybody, if I'm being honest. It takes too much time, no features, you have to import everything. Because if you guys are like, if you guys, unless you're editing a movie... Premiere Pro is the most useless editing app because you have to import everything from every external website and it's just not worth the hassle and the time to go ahead and get used to Premiere Pro. I'd rather use things with like built-in editing um, because, you know, you, although 90% of the Premiere Pro features, I get it, it's advanced, but 90% of it you don't need. That's the, that's the thing about it. Like, it is advanced, obviously, but it's not simple to use. You have to import everything. And unless you're really doing something complicated. Uh, there's no need. And on top of it. To do even simple things. is complicated on Premiere Pro. So it's not worth it. It's not something I recommend. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.